Dear students, under the topic definite integrals, we have completed until problem 8. Here we have problem 9. The question is, evaluate the integral 0 to pi by 2 log of sin x dx. As the first step, we have to consider the given integral as capital I. So this integral can be rewritten as capital I to be equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 logarithm of sin x dx and let us mark this as equation 1 also by using a property which says that integral 0 to a f of x dx is equal to integral 0 to a f of a minus x dx so by this using this property this integral 1 can also be written as capital I is equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 logarithm of sine now instead of x it can be replaced as a minus x a is the upper limit so what is the upper limit here it is pi by 2 so it can be written as pi by 2 minus x that is sine 90 minus theta so what is sine 90 minus theta it is cos theta so using this trigonometric identity capital i will also be equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 logarithm of so sine 90 minus theta can be equated as cos theta so here we have x so it is cos x so cos x dx and we shall mark this as equation 2 now this is equation 1 and this is equation 2 both are capital i so now this these two equations can be added on the left you will be having i plus i which is equal to 2i so adding equation 1 and 2 so adding 1 and 2 we get on the left i plus i will give us 2i is equal to on the right both the integrals have the same limits that is this is also integral 0 to pi by 2 and here also 0 to pi by 2 and so it can be written as one single integral 0 to pi by 2 and we can add whatever is inside that is here we have log x sin x dx and here log of uh, I mean log of cos x dx and here we have log of sin x dx and so when added up we get log of sin x plus logarithm of cos x dx and we know that log a plus log b is equal to log a b so by using this property of logarithm we can rewrite uh, rewrite this as this is like log a and this is like log b and so we will be having integral 0 to pi by 2 so log a plus log b can be written as log a b so it will be logarithm of a is sin x and b is cos x so logarithm of sin x cos x dx and so here we are going to apply another trigonometric formula that is under trigonometric identity we know that sin 2x is equal to 2 sin x cos x so from this we can obtain sin 2x divided by 2 so bringing this 2 to the left here we will be having sin x cos x so we will be having sin x cos x so the sin x cos x can be replaced as sin 2x divided by 2 over here so we get this integral that is 2i to be equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 logarithm of so sin x cos x can be written as sin 2x divided by 2 dx and now again we are going to use a logarithmic property which says that so we know that logarithm of a by b can be written as so this can be written as logarithm of a minus logarithm of b so log of a by b is equal to log a minus log b so using this logarithmic property over here we will be rewriting this as 2i is equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 and this is like log a by b where a is sin 2x b is 2 so it will be log a so log sin 2x minus log b so b is what 2 so log 2 dx 
Now we can split up this integral that is integral 0 to pi by 2 can be splitted up to these two terms and it can be written as so we have splitted up those two integrals for those two terms and we have written and so from this 2i will be equal to this we will evaluate separately so I am writing it as it is so 0 to pi by 2 logarithm of sin 2x dx minus this log 2 is a constant which can be taken out so log 2 and integral 0 to pi by 2 dx and what is this integral 0 to pi by 2 dx on uh, this we will write as it is because anyway we are going to evaluate it separately and then take and substitute over here so minus logarithm of 2 and the integration of dx is x and it is between the limits 0 to pi by 2 then we have to substitute the upper limit minus the lower limit so 2i will be further equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 logarithm of sin 2x dx minus so when you apply the upper limit it will be pi by 2 lower limit is 0 anyway so pi by 2 so log 2 pi by 2 will be the answer for this term so I can rewrite, rewrite it as pi by 2 log 2 and let me mark this as equation 3 because for 1 and 2 we have already named so this is equation 3 I am marking this as equation 3 because I want to evaluate this integral separately and take and substitute in this equation. So let this equation be as it is and let me evaluate this integral. So we have to take this separately and write. So integral 0 to pi by 2 logarithm of sin 2x dx. Now here we are going to use substitution method. So for this integral we are going to substitute t to be equal to 2x. So what will be dt from this? dt will be equal to, so t is equal to 2x. So dt will be 2 dx. And so from this dx will be equal to dt by 2. So we have obtained t and dt. Um, the, uh, so from this we can also uh, find the limits because anyway if you are going to make a substitution method definitely we have to change the limits also accordingly. So now when the limit that is this limit is for x. So when x is equal to 0 what happens to 2? t. So when we put x as 0 over here t is also equal to 0. So this is the lower limit. Now the upper limit is x is equal to pi by 2. So when we put x as pi by 2 what happens to 2? t. So here if you put pi by 2 t will be equal to pi. So we have got the limits as when x is 0 t is 0 and when x is pi by 2 we get t, t to be equal to pi. So we shall substitute make all these substitutions for this integral now. So this integral will be equal to integral lower limit is t equal to 0. The upper limit is t equal to pi. Logarithm of sine. Now 2x has been replaced as t. So sine t and dx we have obtained it as dt by 2. So dt divided by 2. This 2 we will take it out since it is a constant. So we will be having 1 by 2 no, integral 0 to pi logarithm of sin t dt. Now here we are going to make use of the corollary that we have learnt in our previous properties. So as per the corollary that we have learnt we have integral 0 to pi f of sin x that is any function of sin x dx can be written as twice integral 0 to pi by 2 f of sin x dx. Now here if you see we have f of sin x that is the function is logarithm of sin t. So this and the limit is also 0 to pi. So this integral by using this property it can be rewritten. So how can it be rewritten? This 1 by 2 comes as it is. Now this integral is 0 to pi has been changed as twice integral 0 to pi by 2. So you have to write twice integral 0 to pi by 2 and the function remains the same. So logarithm of sin t dt. So therefore we have obtained integral 0 to pi by 2 log of sin 2x dx to be equal to. So this and this will get cancelled and we have integral 0 to pi by 2 log of sin t dt. And this variable t since it is a variable it can also be written as integral 0 to pi by 2 logarithm of sin x 
dx. This is irrespective of the substitution that we have made. In definite integral, there is a concept that the variables can be just changed in, uh, in a definite integral. Uh, now, if we have a function f of t dt, it can also be written as f of x dx. So, using thus that property, we have changed the variable alone. So, sin t has been written as sin x, dt has been written as dx. But what is this integral 0 to pi by 2 log of sin x dx? It is the integral that, that is given to us. That is, it is the integral i that we have considered. Integral i is equal to what? 0 to pi by 2 log of sin x dx. So, from this equation 1. So, from 1, we can say that integral 0 to pi by 2 log of sin x dx is equal to i. So, therefore, this integral we have obtained to be equal to i itself. Now, this we have to take and substitute in equation 3 because this integral only we have evaluated. So, this we have evaluated to be equal to i. Now, let us substitute i in this place. So, what do we get? Equation 3 becomes so, after substituting in equation 3, we get 2i to be equal to i minus pi by 2 log 2. So, from this taking this i to the left, we will be having 2i minus i to be equal to minus pi by 2 log 2. And therefore, i minus i is i. I mean, 2i minus i is i. And the integral that we have to evaluate is what we have taken as i. So, i is equal to minus pi by 2 log 2. So, this is the solution. This solution can also be further simplified because i is equal to this minus 1 can be written as in order to avoid this negative sign in the front, we can write it as log 2 to the power minus 1. But what is 2 to the power minus 1? It is 1 by 2. This is by using a concept that is a log b can be written as log, to, log b to the power a. So, this is the concept that I have used over here. So, this minus 1 is a. So, this is 2 is b. So, taking that to the power log b to the power a is what we have got. So, in that way we have made, uh, we have changed it. And so, this will be equal to pi by 2 logarithm of 2 power minus 1 can be written as 1 by 2. So, therefore, the given integral i, that is what is the given integral i? Integral 0 to pi by 2 log of sin x dx. So, integral 0 to pi by 2 logarithm of sin x dx is equal to pi by 2 logarithm of 1 by 2. Hence, we have evaluated the given integral to be equal to pi by 2 log 1 by 2. So, I hope you would have understood this problem and uh, this is a very significant problem in the, in the examination point of view. So, kindly go through it patiently. Thank you.